weekly market report. We're going to look at popular price points in Orange Beach, and we're going to break them down community by community each and every week. As always, we're going to start off with what the market looks like in seven day stretches, new to markets versus pendings. Angelo Di Paola, the Coastal Connection with EXP Realty, and let's get this party started. All right, you can see here in Baldwin County, seven in the past seven days, we had 301 properties come on the market, houses, condos, land. And in the past seven days, we had 304 of those go pending. We're running right at 28 days of inventory across the county as a whole, from Bay Manette down to Gulf Shores and Orange Beach. So let's break down the beach market. In the past seven days, we had 108 properties come on the market and we had 96 pending. We are steadily creeping up on days of inventory, just over 31 and a half right now. So where does that lead us? Like we see the market climbing a little bit week by week, but what does it look like here on the beach in popular price points? So I did half a million to 1.2 because this seems like where most people are trying to look at. And what's that look like? across the whole market, not just a seven day stretch. So in, in condos, Bayfront condos, a half million to 1.2, we have 17 active listings and 14 pending. That means there's a ton of people probably looking and there's only 17 properties in that price point on the market. All right, houses, I mean condos, Gulf Front, half a million to 1.2, 46 active listings, 49 pending, they're getting absorbed faster than they're coming on the market. Look, this is what I'll say about these two. Right here, the Bayfront, we're gonna see a lot of properties probably starting to get finished on construction. So we should see some little bit of loosening of this, of this product come into July, August, September. If you're looking at Beachfront, here's what I kind of notice. We're, we're up a lot. These property values have gone up, especially the past two years. People that bought two years ago, if you're making $10,000, $20,000 in net rent a year, then, and you've got a $200,000 gain, it's going to take you 10 to 20 years to recoup what you could sell that for right now. I think a lot of owners are starting to see that. And I feel like come the end of July, we're going to, beginning of August, we're going to see some, some inventory coming on the market in that product category. Is there going to be a lot of buyers for that? I think so. I think we have a little bit of fatigue, but I think as properties start coming back on the market, maybe a little downward pressure, maybe just a leveling off of the market. For now, the market kind of pulses. That's what I've noticed the past few years. So we may be coming to a little bit of a pulse uh, into a pulse end. And, but I will tell you, typically September, October, November are big months here for uh, transactions. All right, what's probably not gonna loosen up on the market is waterfront houses between 500 to 1.2. Quite honestly, a lot of people that have been looking for houses in this price point are starting to get priced out of the market. There's nothing at 500, but I wanted to put it in there. But if you see, there's 12 actives and there's 21 pendings. Way more demand than there is product. That is probably continue, going to continue to be the case because these are these people are not investors and they tend to be higher income second homeowners. All right, I hope this video brought you a bunch of value. If you want me to evaluate your property, if you're thinking about selling because you're realizing a bunch of gains, get at us. 251-279-0099 is the auto is the phone number to my office. They will schedule an appointment with me. You can get us through email, Angelo at the Coastal Connection. We'll get back to you as soon as possible. Have a great day and we'll see you next week.